A couple of things to point out first. When it comes to a PS4, unlike some consoles, the USB doesn't have to be formatted first before it'll be compatible with it. And so any uh, USB that you have lying around will do the job. Just make sure that there's at least 350 megabytes of free space left for the update. Now, follow the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Whatever downloads the latest one is the one that'll be presented. Obviously, click on Download Update. It shouldn't take too long depending on your internet connection. On your USB, make a folder that says PS4. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but uh, on the website when it explained to do this, it's had it in caps lock, so that's what I've done. Within that folder, make another folder that says Update. Note that it's also in caps lock. That's the one where you put the PS4 update. Assuming you just only click download and didn't change the name of it, this is what it, uh, the default title should be, so keep it as that. Anyway, now I'm going to eject the USB, and I didn't safely eject it either because I'm a fucking rebel. Now what you want to do with your PS4 switched off is to, first of all, have the USB stick already connected. Make sure that your controller is connected with a cord. I'll explain why in a minute. Alright, hold on to the power button. This takes about 7-ish seconds. When it beeps again, take your finger off it. There we go. Alright, select Update System Software. Then just hit Update from USB Storage Device. That wasn't fucking obvious. Alright, okay. Then, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, just go OK. Wait for it to do its thing. Next. Alright, from here it'll copy over. Then once it's finished doing that, it'll update it and then boom, you're done.